Ghostly greetings. It's your boy, Prue. You holler at me. We're doing the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. A Gary Hendrix, my first Gary Hendrix. Not a bad, not a bad way to start Gary Hendrix, I think. Uh, I really want to try to use do the blah, 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 blah. I want to try to do this review a little bit different. I just want to talk about the book. I don't want to do the characters, the name, the plots. I don't know if y'all dig that style or not, so I just want to talk about it. Um, I don't like to say um, but here we go. So the main consensus of the book is it's Salem's Lot meets True Blood, which is a very good interpretation of the book. The general plot is uh, there's a book club, and they're reading books that they don't like. So a girl named Patricia starts her own book club, and it's full of, like, Anne Rule and murder mystery stuff. And later on, a vampire moves into town, and they use what they learn in those books to help hunt down the vampire. And there's some southern drama mixed in. I like that. I think that's a cool plot. Salem's Lot is one of my favorite Stephen King books ever. It's probably my favorite Stephen King book. And I really enjoyed it. The Stephen King in this. Uh, the character of James Harris, who is the main antagonist, sorry if that's a spoiler, but I feel like you'll get that early on, that he's the baddie, uh, or at least part of the baddie, and, uh, I really enjoyed that, and I really enjoyed the southern take on the vampirism, because a big thing when I was down south, a big thing there was politeness, and, I'm like, oh no, come on in, have dinner, and they're like, man, listen, I gotta, I don't want this dude in my home, because he's a vampire, but if I'm wrong, because he can't be a vampire, because that doesn't exist, I'm not going to be able to go to church. People are going to look at me like I'm weird, because I think Homeboy's a vampire. Kids are going to get made fun of. And definitely, Patricia was trying to work on that while doing everything else. And I just thought that was a lot of fun. I thought that was really cool, and I thought that was a fun way to do it. I really didn't like, though how a lot of the characters were cookie cutter, how a lot of it seemed, I just dropped the book, a lot of it seemed just a little wrapped up. Everyone sort of just fit into a little, fit into a little category and that's where they stayed the whole book. I don't feel like any character apart from the main two got a whole lot of going with. Some of her kids had some stuff, but as a whole, the main book just felt like forgettable. Like, it wasn't bad, it's just, I'm not going to ever want to reread this. I'm not going to recommend this to a lot of people, unless you're really big into Salem's Lot, and you're like, man, I need a modern day Salem's Lot. This is the great value Salem's Lot, and I get that reference now, 100%. I will start Grady, um, excuse me, Grady Hendrix's My Best Friend's Exorcism very soon uh, on audio. And this one, I don't know, is 500 pages-ish. That was 400-ish pages, sorry, 400-ish pages, and it didn't seem to go by too quick. I like the parts where Patricia and her husband and his little business group were kind of telling her, like, oh, it can't be a vampire. But imagine if you were in that situation where you're like, oh, I think this is a vampire. But you kind of can't say that because... There's no such thing as vampires. And what does one do when they're trying to explain to their husband, oh shit, we can't let our kids go with the neighbor, he's a vampire. But you just, I don't know, it's weird, and they get the cops involved, and I like that part of the story. But like I said, though, it's indeed forgettable. You're going to forget this book, literally, and most of the characters, a couple days after you read it, you're going to shelf it. I will say that two things, though. It's written at a decent pace, and this is some beautiful cover art. I like the orange with the blood because I'm a big fan of Blood Oranges, and I just think this was cool, but forgettable. So that's my review. Grady Hendrix, Southern, Southern Book Club to Slaying Vampires. It's Salem's Lot. I know I keep saying that. It's a vampire story in a small southern town in a more modern-day setting with decent enough characters and a decent enough story and some cool little voodoo hoodoo shit, like a jump rope poem, but nothing that you're going to remember a week from now. You're not going to want to recommend this to anybody, except for a few lot who are just hardcore vampire nerds. There's better vampire books to read, and I hope there's better Grady Hendrix to read, but this wasn't bad. It was just forgettable. So this has been your boy, Prue, and happy Sunday. Stay creepy. Thanks for watching.